Glory to God. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Jesus is coming soon, guys. Jesus is coming soon. And most definitely, you know, the, uh, the afflictions of the devil is not going to stop. It's not going to stop. Nor so will the gospel either. It's not going to stop. It's going to continue. And Jesus says, uh, Heaven and earth may pass away, but my words will never pass away. Blessed be the name of Jesus. So the rapture stands and it's going to stand forever. Praise be in the name of the Lord. And, uh, and most definitely we're trying to get um, as much as souls as we can uh, to Jesus Christ because of the judgments that is going to come. We need to warn you guys. So, you know, for those uh, that do not believe yet, and, you know, they think that life is still normal and all of those things. Well, you're at the right video. You're not here out of coincidence. And, uh, and most definitely, uh, you know, judgment is coming. And it's not going to be so pretty. Most definitely... You know, because, you know, the world is going to get afflicted by the devil. You know, Revelation chapter 13. And you don't want to be afflicted by, uh, you know, something unseen. But you're definitely going to see it that day. And it's, uh, you know, it's, you know, they call it, you know, it's, it's uh, Jacob's trouble. You know, it's a seven year uh, period of tribulation that is going to come. And, um there's going to be millions of Christians missing, you know, you're going to witness, you know, um, you know, the rapture and uh, you being left behind. Uh, perhaps even your kids are going to be missing also. A lot of things is going to happen. And, uh, and yes, and, uh, you know, Jesus Christ, he died for your sins, rose on the third day, according to the scriptures and the. Uh, and that is the gospel, you know, 1 Corinthians 15, verses uh, 1 through 4. And um, and you just, you know, just basically, you got to have the word of God right here. This is, this is what speaks right here, the word of God. This is what speaks, the word of God. And, and most definitely, you're going to need this. You're going to need the word of God. This is the word of truth. This is what's going to save you. This is what saved me in January when I was afflicted. And now I'm here. Now I'm passing on the message on to you. You know, that life is real. And um, and all of the, the, the prophecies, you know, are coming to pass. If it wasn't for this book, if it wasn't for the word of God, I would have perished. And so now that's why I... I make a lot of videos because, you know, it is my responsibility to pass it on on to you, whether if you believe it or not, you know, I'm doing my part. And, uh, and yes, most definitely it's going to come to pass. Jesus really did die for your sins. And, uh, and that day when I was afflicted and, um, and Jesus took me to Matthew 24 verses four to five, that says, watch out that no one deceives you for many will come in my name, claiming I'm the Messiah. It will deceive many. And once, um, once I read that verse, I knew it was the devil trying to afflict me, trying to trick me and deceive me. You know, and that day I almost, you know, it put all kinds of thoughts in my mind, you know, to commit suicide or to kill someone. God has betrayed you. You know, that's what it, that's exactly what he put on my mind. You know, it's a, you know, it's a, it's a real true spirit of the devil. And, um, And, and most definitely, you know, and I, I lost two jobs prior to this, you know, and uh, and then on my third job, I thought I was doing good for like a year until, like I said, that spirit came and tried to threaten my third job. And but Jesus stopped all of that through the word of God. And I will never depart from this book again. This is the word of truth. This is the word of life. And the world is going to need this. You are going to need this. To save yourself. This is the, the book of instructions. Without these instructions, you will be deceived. There is no other way. There's just no other way. You know, it's not by mental power. It's not because you think that you are smart. 
or that you, that you think that you know it all or all of those things. Those things are meaningless and uh, and do not set your, you know, do not trust in yourself, you know, do not trust in yourself at all. Um, when it comes to, you know, thinking that you're smart or anything like that, without this book, you are clueless. You will be deceived by a spirit. You're going to think as a UFO. You're going to think that he's God. You, you know, it's just, you, there's just no other way. God wants you to read his instructions and to follow his laws. If you're not walking according to this, you are walking in sin. If you're not walking according to this, you are not being careful. If you're not walking with this, you don't have a relationship with God. Glory to God. And then, sir, so you're just living a pagan um, life, pretty much. A life without God. Perhaps believing in God. Perhaps believing in something. But you just don't have Jesus Christ in your heart. You're not born again. You're not following the truth. You're not suffering for the cause of the gospel. You know, if there's any Christians out there that are not suffering for the gospel, you know, what can I say? You know, you're perhaps not walking according to the word of God. Um, but yes, most definitely, you know, every Christian is gonna, is gonna be persecuted. Um, you're gonna go through a lot, exactly. We have to walk, you know, in the ways of Jesus. Jesus, you know, Jesus suffered, was persecuted. He was the son of the living God and uh, died for our sins so that we could follow his example. And uh, and most definitely, this is not a, a preaching, you know, the same old preaching. People are going to, you know, the same old preaching. Oh, you know, it's just the same preaching. Nothing's going to happen, you know, and uh, nothing's going to happen. This has been going on for years. And the... <laughs> Woe unto you if you think like that right now, because the devil's afflicting us 24-7, and uh, we are a testimony that, yes, um, Jesus really did die for your sins, resurrected on the third day. Glory to God. You know, it's up to you. You're going to see it for yourself one day, and uh, you're going to suffer tremendously unless you have the grace of God, unless the, the Lord, you know, has grace on you. But, you know, get saved now. Get on the ark before those doors are shut. Once those doors are shut... Now you might have to die for your faith or, you know, you're going to you're going to deal with the worst, the the, the worst uh, that you never expected. And you're going to, you know, be in a lot of regrets for it is going to come to the whole world. And the Bible says that the world mourns when they see the son of man coming on the clouds. Why? Because because every day you told yourself, uh, you know, I'm just going to put it off. Uh, I just just don't believe, you know. Um, you know, whatever excuses you might put your minds because, you know, that's what the devil does. He likes, you know, to point fingers at um, this and that and all of those things, but, um, and not onto yourself. But, um, but yes, it's uh, most definitely it's going to come to pass. Um, whether you like it or not, whether you believe or not, it's going to come to pass, you know, the coming and the rapture of our Lord Jesus Christ. And uh, it's going to happen in a twinkling of an eye. It could be here any day, any second. We're in that season. And, uh, and yes, most definitely. All right, well, guys, well, have a good day. And God bless you. And um, and take care of yourselves. Keep me, keep me in your prayers. In Jesus' mighty name I pray. Amen.